What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mile. Today, I'm coming to y'all to show y'all how I blow dry my hair today. And if you are familiar with my channel, these last couple of blow dry videos, I've been using this Revlon blow drying brush. I kind of like this brush because it keeps me from having to flat iron my hair. And I have not flat ironed my hair in so long. This right here is Olaplex. I'm just showing you guys that I use the Olaplex. I think that's Olaplex number three, four, five, five, six. I think it's place number six, that smoothing thing. And that right there was the optimum leave-in conditioner. And this right here is the Silk Elements uh, leave-in protectant. That Olaplex was the Ola Olaplex Silk and Smooth Serum, something like that. Um, it's the number six um, from the Olaplex line. And prior to using these products i did relax my hair i colored my hair and i also use olaplex number three four and five when i wash my hair okay so now i'm going to go ahead and start blow drying my hair um the first thing i did was i combed through my hair first and i detangled it and right there i realized that i didn't detangle it enough i read it to a few tangles so i went through and i combed it again so to get the tangles out to make sure when no tangles in your hair because if you got tangles in your hair and you using this blow dry brush baby it's gonna snag your hair and it's possibly gonna pull it out most likely it's gonna pull it out so just be careful when you're using a brush like this uh make sure your hair is detangled first Y'all, I really be wanting to flat iron my hair just to see what it looked like flat iron. But I realized that it's unnecessary when I use this blow drying tool. Even though flat ironing will make my hair like even straighter, but for what? Um, so I, you know, I really be wanting to just to bump the ends or whatever. But it's it's healthier for your hair if you just go ahead and if you're gonna curl it, curl it with some rollers. But I don't plan on leaving my hair out for too long. I don't think. But um. The blow drying is less damaging than a flat iron, so, you know, that's a plus. And even though both are damaging, it could be even more damaging depending on how you use each one of them. You know, both of them are damaging, so, but you just have to use them wisely and don't use them often. And whenever I blow dry, I always use a heat protectant. Now, Silk Elements Mega Silk Heat Protectant has been my favorite heat protectant over, oh my gosh, probably about 10 years or so. And um, because the, the heat protectant is added a, it adds a, a protective barrier between both the blow dryer or the flat iron if you're using the flat iron. And it helps seal in the moisture and reduce frizz on your hair so your hair won't be all fuzzy and stuff once you... Uh, flat iron or blow dry when you use the heat protectant. My hair growing slowly but surely, child. Slowly but surely, it's growing. But you know, I always, always, always uh, towel dry my hair before I blow dry it to reduce heat damage because the wetter it is, the longer you have to keep the heat on, you know, from the blow dryer on it so it can get dry. And you don't want to do that because the longer you put keep the heat on it, the more damage you can cause. I know, I know, I know, my ends look a whole hot garbage mess. But don't worry, I'm gonna clip and snip them. I'm not gonna cut my hair like, um, what you call it, straight across blunt cut. I'm not gonna do that. I wish to have blunt cut ends one day, but not today. Um, I realize that if you want blunt cut ends, that, well, if I, I'm gonna speak for myself, the blunt cut ends I want is not a ball. Okay, I want my hair to grow further uh, down my back even longer before I decide to do a blunt cut 
on my end. But I am going to get rid of the little wispy in a later video, okay? Y'all won't see that this round, but I'm going to get rid of them, even though y'all already know who been following me for a long time. That's like the hardest thing for me to do, but it has become so much easier now that I am um, learning my ends more. Child, it seems like it taking forever for me to see growth in my hair. Each time I check the length, I get discouraged because I don't feel like it grew. But then I get happy because I feel like it grew. Don't that sound crazy, y'all? I get happy and then I get discouraged all at the same time. I be so confused. Even after looking at pictures of my hair growth, I still be like, man, it ain't even grow yet. It ain't even grow. I could be looking at side by side pictures of shorter hair versus longer hair, and I still feel like, who is taking a long time to get it, you know, where I wanted to go. But it's growing, y'all. It's growing. Do it look like it's growing to y'all? Y'all don't mind the faces. Y'all know I'm tender headed. My OG followers, y'all know I'm super duper tender headed. Okay, so y'all all y'all know I always blow dry my hair in sections because if I don't, it'll get all tangled up and it'll cause knots, single strand knots. Yes, relax hair get single strand knots, and it'll lead to more breaks because then I have to take the knots loose. Uh, you can't take the knots loose. I be wanting to take them loose, but you got to basically just cut them out because if you want to take them out, uh, loose, that's a lot of work. You got to use a whole straight pin out here. And, um, you know, ain't nobody got time for all that headache. So when I'm working on one section at a time, I get better results when I blow dry. By the way, if you see any smoke coming from my hair, that is just the steam from the heat protectant that I use, Silk Elements, uh, Mega Silk Heat Protectant. Um, it causes um, a little steam to come out when um, I blow dry, but it, trust me, it's not my hair. It's not my hair that's on fire. It's the steam from the heat protectant. Most heat protectants do make a steam when you use them um, when you blow dry and or flat iron in your hair, okay? Y'all know what I wish. I wish there was no such thing as bad ends on the hair. Because if it wasn't, boy, all of us would have long hair. So that had the ends be old and ragged and stringy and just all, you know, all messy. You gotta always cut it. Yeah, that's a dream. Whatever. Take care of them ends, people. Okay, y'all, so this is what my hair looks like. Fully blow-dried. I'm going to give it 99% blow-dried, you know. Let me give it 98% blow-dried because, you know, it still has some moisture in there. But anyways, y'all, look at my hair. Um, look at the growth. That's what I'm focused on, the growth. Um, at, well, right now while I'm talking, the growth is it's getting better. Um, I really don't know. Y'all have to tell me sometimes because I be discouraged and encouraged at the same time, child. But, um, me and my ends, we be fighting each other sometimes, God, um, in my mind. Because y'all know, the, the, th the stuff that I've been through, my ends is like the hardest thing for me to, to, to deal with. But I knew it's getting so much easier now, y'all. It's getting so much easier for me to deal with my ends. But this is what my hair looks like, combed down completely. Um, the next time you all see me, my ends are going to look a little bit better because I am going to cut them, but I'm not going to do a blunt cut. I'm just going to do, you know, get rid of the split ends, get rid of the wispies, the biggest wispies, and I'm going to continue my journey on to grow my hair to the start side, to my ankles, you know, to my butt, whatever. Anyways, y'all, this is what my hair 
is looking like, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Like, for real. Let me know what y'all think. I don't care if, what you think, but just let me know. You know, I mean, as far as I don't care if it's good or bad, just let me know um, what my hair is looking like to y'all. And uh, I think that black that black dye came out real, real good. My hair is super, super jet black right now at the moment, child. Give it a week or give it two weeks. Them little grays, probably two weeks. Them little grays going to start springing back in on them edges, y'all. Child, I can't stand it, but hey, getting older. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.